Hello and welcome to Gitex Global 2024, where I'm delighted to be here with Artem Volodin. Artem, Hello. thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's really good to meet you. And uh, we're looking forward to finding out more about Search Inform's activities and offering here in the Middle East region. Um, first of all, we were just discussing about how you offer a form of outsourcing for information security focused on internal security. Yeah. Can you tell us more about exactly what outsourcing means in this case and what you achieve by doing that? Sure. Uh, so we as a uh, vendor of cybersecurity and we understand uh, how to, uh, it's neat for the customer exact in this market for uh, outsourcing service as a DLP and DCAP with our main product because we are the vendor and this is the, our main uh, the product, DLP and DCAP, the data lake prevention. So, and uh, we have a huge experience in the market, more than 25 years, I can say. And the uh, market, GCC market, we're now around two years and uh, we, we can see uh, the outsourcing service it is really neat for this market and we, we will be more helpful for our customer. Thank you for that, Artem. And from your experience with local organizations here in the Middle East, how do they typically feel about the outsourcing and what are the benefits to businesses who opt to go with that option? So what I can see from uh, this market uh, it is uh, really deficit of uh, specialists and uh, when we are coming to our customer and we explain about our solution, about our service, of course, uh, I can mention even they a bit uh, surprised, like, like how much we uh, can cover in our solution. Because uh, if we will compare and they can compare to another uh, vendors, so they can see it's really, really big difference. So in our solution, we are covering uh, as more as possible from the, if we're talking about controllers, yeah? So in our DLP solution. So it is uh, the 12, around 12 uh, controllers, what we uh, can uh, use uh, with, uh, work with our customer, yeah? And uh, this is from the first meeting, yeah? Then we provided one month free trial. So within one month free trial, they can uh, see more about the value of, of our service, about uh, of our products, yeah? And they become more trust to our company because they can see how deep we are working with uh, this customer. We're very close because it will be uh, assigned our data analyst to a customer and who will be work every day and will be reporting uh, like weekly, monthly, about uh, incidents or uh, anything happen or we, we can see something uh, what we need to notify the company and uh, then after one month free trial company of course become more trust to us and decided to go work like the normal because it's uh, available by subscription it might be uh, like yearly or two year subscription five year subscription Yes, and uh, the main benefits, uh, we close this pain, I can say, for customer, because uh, all things and all settings and all the work and job, we will take on our side. So, and our customer just receive the report and uh, make a decision what to do with this incident. Regarding your customers, um, what are the most common sort of requests that they come to you with? Of course, uh, the main uh, request to protect, for example, if we're talking about manufacturing, yeah, some of the, they have a project department, they have designer department. Of course, they more uh, requested to protect exact these documents from these departments. But if we are talking generally, uh, it can be, for example, this private sector, so of course it's very important to protect all the financial uh, documents, all uh, like personal data of uh, employees, of customer uh, agreements, kind of agreements, contracts. So this is the, the main main uh, request from our customer. And related to DLP, because we also uh, provided risk monitoring and uh, we can monitoring and analyze like productivity of uh, employees. So, and uh, we, we will provide the report where you can see 
all the departments, how they are working, about, about the time, about the, even exactly about which uh, the website they can visit. And uh, we, can, uh, we can provide to our customer so they can make a decision. Okay, please do not allow to visit this website. So, and uh, we can make it settings, we can block and they can, uh, like, it will be not possible to visit this website. Oh, so, like a complete monitoring solution. Yeah, really? yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful. And in terms of the challenges that, that you have seen here in the Middle East and, and in the UAE market, um, information security challenges, what are the most common ones that, that you approach and have to overcome? The biggest challenges, what I can see, it is a really, really big deficit, if as I mentioned before, it's a very big deficit of the employees, of specialists of cybersecurity, who will be involved in uh, the solution and product and work uh, with the DLP solution. Okay, Artem, and how do you normally assess the local prospects in the outsourcing market here in the region? So I can say very positive. So we have a very big, uh, we can see very big interest from our customer, from our potential customer. Uh, to uh, kind of this service and uh, I can say we make a good decision to um, open business in this market and uh, because uh, this is very helpful for our customer and we have a good very good feedback from our customer uh, regarding our solution but regarding our service what we have provided because I can say we are the one who provided kind of this complex service uh, yeah, that's why I can say this is the very positive prospect. Yeah. Fantastic. And here's an interesting one for you. In, in your opinion, do you think that the outsourcing of information security could become as common as other fields such as, I don't know, coding or accounting? Sure, because I can say uh, for now it's digitalization. It's for around the world, yeah, worldwide. And uh, again, uh, the deficit of uh, employees, of the spe specific uh, employees of specialists, it will not go on, yeah? So it will be stay in, uh, in this market. So, and kind of this service, it will be become more uh, interest for customer. So that's why it will be even more, every year it will be more and more and more interest to this service. So you can only see growth for outsourcing yes. in the information security market? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay, Artem, that brings me on to the next topic, which is trends. What are the key trends that you see having an impact here in the regional information security market? And how are Search Inform going to respond and react to those trends? Okay, so what I can see, uh, internal trends, it will become more, I think, a problem uh, for, for the customer. And... Uh, customer will be need more faster reaction and more uh, deeper reporting for kind of this incident yeah uh, that's why I believe and I can see the outsourcing service will be um, uh, even more uh, like needed to this customer yeah okay fantastic now finally we've spoken about your activities here in the UAE can you talk to our audience a little bit more about your plans to scale and grow the business in other regional markets as well? Sure, right now we are uh, representing the UAE, exactly in Dubai, but we are working for all uh, UAE. And uh, right now we are uh, working even in Saudi Arabia. So, and we can see also big interest uh, customer and uh, big opportunity in, even in this market. Uh, but of course, uh, we, also, we have uh, the experience in Malaysia, in Vietnam, and uh, kind of these countries. So we are around the world. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So we can expect to see a lot more from Search Inform here in the Middle East for sure. years to come. Yeah. Fantastic. Sure. Well, um, thank you very much for that, Artem. It's great to understand how Search Inform is spearheading this trend of outsourcing information security with a focus on internal security. Um, it's working well for you here in the UAE and now in Saudi, and yep. we look forward to seeing your growth in the overall Middle East region. So thanks again, Artem. Thank you Great so much. Great to meet you. Thank Wishing you, you uh, Thank best you. of luck for the rest of Jitech. Thank you so much.